Hey guys, so I just got back from the absolute insanity that was the Berkeley free speech rally. I have pepper spray in my eyes still. This is not a good time. Woo. I tried to get you out of it. Oh, like what's worse is I think I got trapped in the goggles. Oh, is that what yeah. happened? Oh, here. Hey, hey, oh. Hey, hey, my ears are ringing from an M80 that bounced off my helmet and onto the ground beside me. Watch out, watch out. Oh, 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 oh my god, it hit me. You're good, you're good. We yeah, got I'm you. Good. Good. Let's back up. One more, one more. I managed to dodge bricks, bagels, sticks, and signs, and all sorts of things, and have come back in better shape than a lot of people, hoping to tell you what actually went down at this event before the media can go ahead and spin it for you. If you walk through the streets of Berkeley, the entire damn place is covered in signs that say Antifa Zone, and even communist spray paint. It is in Bested with radicals, and as a result, anyone who tries to hold any sort of right-wing event literally gets beat up by militant communists in the streets. As seen before, time and time again, with Milo events or the last Bay Stickman rally, they are always there ready to shut it down. So instead of backing down this time and being censored because of violence, Trump supporters said, no more, screw it. Not only are we not going to be silenced, but we are going to fight back when you try to hit us. Um, I do think it's important to note, though, that the organizer of this event, Rich Black, and all the other amazing people that worked on it, did do their best to make sure that this event wouldn't get to the point that it did. We were in contact with the police, who assured us, word for word, we would be impressed with the police presence there. But that in order for them to protect us and such, we had to follow guidelines and not have pepper spray, sticks, or fighting equipment, or anything of that sort, so we disarmed. And of course, as usual in Berkeley, at the first sign of violence from Antifa, the police disappeared. They were gone. They went and they literally hid in their police cars. They're so safe. They're so safe. Thanks for protecting and serving. You guys did a great job today. They had their bulletproof vests on, their sticks, their guns. They were good to go in a riot situation with their shields. Well, we were totally disarmed because of the laws and rules and guidelines we had been given. And we were disarmed while we were being maced and having explosives and rocks thrown at us by psychotic ra radicals. So while I do normally support the police in this case... What the hell? I don't understand. But luckily, with a combination of stupidity from Antifa and strength from Trump supporters, we managed to push Antifa back because these complete and utter dumbasses set off a smoke bomb while the wind was going in their direction. And here's what happened. Smoke oh, shit. We're good, we're good. Oh, smoke, smoke. Ah! smoke, just smoke. Oh, 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 Yeah, it was an absolute shit show. Do I feel bad? 
Not really. Antifa showed up with the sole intention of beating up people that disagree with them, with stealing these people's property, with silencing them, and they got away with a lot of it, even people, leaving people bloodied on the ground and macing people all over their faces. And the police refused to do anything about their behavior, so the people at Berkeley stood up for themselves. I don't think that I can be anti-self-defense. Never start the fight, but always finish it. Do I like that this is the state of political discourse in 2017 where I have to wear a freaking gas mask to go give a speech? No, but it is the reality that we live in because the media, the government, and education systems have radicalized a bunch of unstable teenagers. It's insane. So if people have to get into fistfights in order to defend their free speech, then so be it. People died so that we could have that right. And to give it up because of a little bear mace and pathetic punches? Not gonna happen. So thank you so much to the Patriots who showed up today, and I hope that anyone who got injured here gets better, and uh, press F to pay respects for Based Elbow Man because he got arrested at the event. And one more thing, thank you so much to the Proud Boys for being my security detail who protected me from many of fireworks and crazy feminists. I really, really appreciate it. And also to my amazing Patreon supporters who made this trip possible. Anyways, I'm off to go grab some drinks with the lads to celebrate the victory at the Battle of Berkeley. So cheers, everyone. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.